let's have example 5.4 on your handout so for the continuous beam and load shown compute the nodal displacements and number of forces and reactions e is 29 times 10 to the 6 psi and i is 80 inches to the fourth so this is the beam and there are only three degrees of freedom so we can solve this directly but we have to have stiffness for a b and b c so we need to convert feet to inches so 10 times 12 is 120 inches this is 5 times 12 so 60 inches so the load at node 3 is only 10 kips because if we imagine bc as fixed ended so if we sum up moment about c so we have reaction at b or force at b just to the right times 60 plus 10 times 0 equals 0 so that's why fbr is 0 and therefore submission forces why fc equals 10 kips there's no other load there will be no moment because this is zero if you some take moment about any section the moment is always zero so there are no fixed end moments same is true if you consider the load at the right so 10 times something minus 10 times something equals zero so there will be no fixed end moment so the net load at node 3 is just downward 10 kip load so this is this so ei is 29 times 10 to the third or 29,000 KSI times 80 inches to the fourth, that will give us 2,320,000 kip in square. So for the stiffness of AB, it is 12 times 2,320,000 divided by 120 cube. So it will give us 149 over 9. The second entry is 6 times EI. 2,320,000 divided by 120 square, so 2,900 over 3. Then this is the negative of 149 over 9. This is the same 2,900 over 3. Same 2,900 over 3. This is 4 times 2,320,000 divided by I, divided by L, which is 120, so 232,000 over 3. Then the negative of 2,900 over 3, half of 232,000 is 116,000 over 3. Then the negative of the first row, this row here, then this is second row with columns 2 and 4 values interchange. KBC is 12 times 2,320,000 divided by 60 cube, 5 feet is 60 inches, so 60 cube will give us 1,160 over 9. The uh, next entry is 6 times EI 2,320,000 divided by 60 square. So we have 11,600 over 3. And the next is the negative of this value. The next is same value as this second code. Then we copy the same thing. This is 4 times 2,320,000 divided by 60. So 464,000 over 3. This is the negative of 11,600 over 3. Then this is one half of 464,000 over 3. The next third row is equal to the negative of this row here. This row elements here. And the fourth row is the same second row with second column and fourth column interchange values. So we are interested of U4, which is theta B, U5, which is delta C, and U6, so 4, 5, 6. The forces would be 0 for moment at B, then negative 10 at 3, it corresponds to 5, U5, then 0 for moment at 3. Then this is 4, 4, 4, 4 is... 232,000 over 3. We have only one 232,000 over 3 here plus 464,000 over 3. So it will give us 232,000. 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, negative 11, 11,600 over 3. 5, 4 is also negative 11,600 over 3. 
Then 46, 46 is 23, 2000 over 3. 64 is 23, 2000 over 3 also. Then 55, 55 is 1160 over 9. That's it. Then 56, negative 11, 600 over 3, which is this one. And 65 is negative 11,600 over 2. This is 66. It's only common to 1 for 64,000 over 3. This is this. Then we can easily solve u displacements u4, u5, u6, which corresponds to theta b, delta c, and theta c. Using your calculator, it is the product of the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix and this force matrix here. So let's do that. So u4, u5, u6 equals the inverse of that matrix there times quantity 0, negative 10, 0. So you will get negative 7.758621 times 10 to the negative 3 radians. This is automatic radians because we use EI, the original value of EI. Then for the displacement, u5, it is in inch. So negative 0.775862 inch. Then for U6, which is theta C, negative 0 0.0155172414 regions. So these are the corresponding designation theta B, delta C, and theta C. For the member forces of AB, we copy the stiffness. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, only 4 has displacement. So we shade the first three columns here. Only column 4 is active. So Fixed and forces, because there are no loads in AB, fixed and forces will all be zero, uh, reacts vertical and fixed and moment zeros. So, for the first entry, 2,900 over 3 times negative 7.758621 times 10 to the negative 3 plus 0 is negative 7.5. 111,000 divided by 3 times negative 7.758621 times 10 to the negative 3. Plus zero equals negative 300 kit inches, then and so on and so forth. You know already how to compute that. Then for member BC, this is the stiffness of BC. Then we have U4, U5, U6, only U3 is zero. So that's why only column 3 is shaded. So fixed and forces, zero, zero, except for this case here. This is equal to. Ne uh, 10, positive 10, because we have FC 10. So, 11600 over 3 times negative 7.758621 times 10 to the negative 3 plus negative 1160 over 9 times negative 0.775861 plus 11600 over 3 times negative 0 0.0015517214 plus 6 and 4, 0. Then you will get 10 kits. Then for second row, 464,000 over 3 times negative 7.758621 times 10 to the negative 3 plus quantity negative 11,600 over 3 times negative 0.775861. Then plus 232,000 over 3 times negative 0 0.0155172414 plus fix and force equals you get 600 kit inch. Then you just continue the rest and verify these answers. Those are the answers. So moment A is 300 kip inch divided by 12 to convert that to kip foot. So 25 kip feet. So moment at A is the positive of negative 300 kip inch because negative 300 kip inch is clockwise and clockwise is the expected moment at the left end to produce positive moment for a smiley bending right clockwise so this is negative so it means because counterclockwise is positive so it means it is already clockwise so that's why we make it positive mb is equal to negative 600 keep inches or negative 50 keep inch keep foot and mc is zero of course and if you want to solve for RB, 
RB is shear just to the left, 7.5 plus shear just to the right, 10. So RB is equal to 17.5 kips. Or kips. So on and so forth. 